Spring concert season opened over the weekend for jazz, pop and indie lovers, but in the Capitol's orchestration hall, some rare gems were unearthed by the Moscow Oratorio Ensemble. Yes, all in the name of the greater good, of course. Primetime's Lindsay Free tested her vocal cords against the mites of a choir open to locals and expats alike. The Moscow Oratorio Society's been charming audiences for 19 years, but it's now taken a step into the unknown by giving new life to music once thought to be lost forever. While the ensemble spring concert is always an important event, last Saturday's performance at Orchestrion Hall was a bit different and perhaps more significant. For the first time, the choir performed the music of a little-known composer, Czech-born master of Baroque Jan Dismas Zelenka, and the group's Moscow performance was the culmination of an extraordinary story. His music was completely lost for 200 plus years. And uh, only at the second half of the 20th century, uh, occasionally it was some kind of archaeological works in Dresden, and they found that in the basement of uh, destroyed library during the Second World War, a metal container. And when they opened this container, they found this music. Half of the scores were damaged. But the ones that weren't damaged were showcased in style, and two of the pieces were performed for the very first time in Russia. It was a brave move for the ensemble and quite a difficult task. But once the lights were dimmed and the audience was silent, the show went off without a hitch. The choir has lots of reasons to feel proud today, mainly because today is the day that months of rehearsals and hard work finally pay off. But the concert's not this group has achieved. The ensemble's using their talent for a greater cause by making a difference in the community. We're supporting Big Brothers Big Sisters. This is an international organization that helps kids in orphanages or without a good parental guidance. Uh, every pairing, they pair one on one and it's like a mentorship. The choir members turned mentors have a number of diverse talents to share with Moscow's youth because the choir's made up of both Russians and expats, people with very different backgrounds coming together through a common love of music. The most wonderful thing about this choir is that I can come here after work, relax and have a rest. It's a great experience for me. I've been here for two years. And the group's open to letting just about anyone join in on the fun. I thought I'd give it a go myself, but after listening to these guys, I think they're better off without me. Whether you're a native Russian or from somewhere else, the choir welcomes you to show up, belt out some notes, and let your talent shine. Lindsay Free, Primetime Russia, RT. I think Lindsay's being really modest there. They haven't heard me yet. But if you're interested in joining the choir, um, and they actually do welcome all comers, so please have a look at www.moscooratorio.com. They've got all the info there.